a second order second de uh, degree equation then how can we find the uh, equation of tangent and equation of normal everything you will see right so the slope of the tangent or normal is given by dy by dx is equal to tan theta is equal to f dash of x so this is equal to y dash okay or else y suffix one i told you already so at a particular point if they ask the tangent uh, a tangent equation or normal equation at particular point after finding dy by dx and tan theta f dash of x something so uh, we substitute the given point like x1 y1 we'll get dy by dx so after that since we know that the tangent equation is y minus y1 is equal to this dy by dx or simply this is equal to m m is the slope so x minus x1 so this is the equation of line o slope is and o slope dy by dx and the passing through the point x1 y1 so this is the equation of tangent and the normal equation is y minus y1 is equal to minus 1 by dy by dx and x minus x1 okay yes right can you repeat the equation of slope so equation of slope so uh, for example if i take the uh, equation of the curve y is equal to f of x right kishore so the tangent is drawn to the curve y is equal to f of x at any point like uh, i'm taking this is the curve y is equal to f of x i'm taking the point on the curve this is p of x1 comma y1 yes or no so um if it is for example if i draw the tangent it may uh, this is x axis y axis x axis and this is y axis so look at here the tangent can make an angle theta the ta tangent can make an angle theta so theta here this is should not be equal to 90 am i right so with the positive direction of x axis then here the tan theta is given the slope of the tangent it is also called gradient okay it is also called gradient what is another name of slope gradient of the curve so the tan theta is given by m m nothing dy by dx okay either we can write tan theta when theta is given just you can find tan theta theta is not given but a particular point is given x1 y1 equation of the curve is given and point is given then find dy by dx substitute the point x1 y1 okay is it clear students so if it is a uh, like a f of x comma y is equal to 0 right students uh, just a moment Okay, students, here uh, that we know that uh, uh, the tangent of x axis is 0, slope, I mean, uh, slope of the x axis. x axis is a line, slope uh, is uh, m is equal to 0. So, m nothing but dy by dx is equal to 0. So, this will be the slope of x axis. So, minus 1 by dy by dx. Okay, uh, what about the slope of the uh, y axis? Hmm. Okay, both will be perpendicular to each other, x axis and y axis, right? So minus 1 by dy by dx is equal to 0. Nothing but what? dx by dy is equal to 0. So the slope of the y axis is given by dx by dy is equal to 0. So with help of partial derivative also, we will get the slope of the tangent, slope of the normal. Okay, x axis, it is a horizontal line any line which is parallel to x-axis 
So the slope of horizontal line is dy by dx is equal to zero. Slope of the vertical line is any vertical line dx by dy is equal to zero, or else simply dy by dx can be written as one by zero. That is infinite, undefined. The slope of the vertical line is not defined. Okay, right, students. Now uh, next, uh, um, I told you that partial derivatives and all we'll discuss later. Okay. And if it is a second degree equation, that is a x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equal to zero. So we are very familiar with this formula. This is a second degree equation. So this second degree equation can represent a pair of straight line, para parabola, hyperbola, ellipse, and circle. It's a depending on the discriminant. Okay, discriminant that already we discussed, right? So this second degree equation. Okay, so whenever the second degree equation, the equation of tangent to to this second degree equation at the point, you can take any point like x one y one at x one y one. That will be uh, x square. Since we know that whenever we will write the tangent equation. See, for example, circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. How can we write the tangent equation? Simple. X square you can write as x x one. Y square y y one is equal to r square. This is the equation of tangent. Nothing but what we have done. We replaced x square by x x one. Y square by y y one. Okay, y y one. But x y. X Y can be written as X Y one plus uh, Y X one by two. Remember, student, these are very very important. Replace X by X square by X X one, Y square by Y Y one, and X Y by this, and X by X plus X one by two, Y by Y plus Y one by two. So you have to remember all these values. So uh, any equation, it may be parabola equation, it may be hyperbola, ellipse, any equation, any kind of equation, any second degree equation, we can easily write as a tangent. So see x square a x x one plus two h into what I told you x y can be replaced by x y one plus x one y all divided by two plus two uh, g into X plus x one by two, uh, then next uh, year two uh, f two f into y plus y one by two plus c is equal to zero. Just I have replaced all these values. Okay, so after this simplify this. When I simplified here, when I simplify here, two to get cancel, two to cancel, two to cancel. Two to cancel. So then, the required equation is a x x one uh, plus. Okay, uh, I okay. I forgot to write b into y square y plus y one by two. Sorry, y square can be written as y y one. Okay, so uh, b into y y one. Plus h times of same two to get cancel x y one plus uh, x one y so remaining all values so g into x plus x one uh, plus f into y plus y one plus c is equal to zero students so uh, like you can take any equation for example if I take the ellipse x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to what what is the tangent equation x square you can replace by x x one By a square minus y y one by b square is equal to one. This is the tangent equation. Y square is equal to, for example, four a x. What is the uh, tangent equation? Y square is y y one is equal to four a into x plus x one by two. This is the equation of tangent uh, to the parabola at x one y one. Okay. So before this, you have to remember the tangency condition. Okay. In probability, already we discussed about that. The tangent condition of the parabola y square is equal to 4a x. Okay, 
so y is equal to m x plus c is said to be tangent to the parabola y square is equal to 4 a x is given by c is equal to a m square clear and y is equal to m x plus c same y is equal to m x plus c is a tangent is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square or r square your wish so what is the tangency condition here the tangency condition is c is equal to r into plus or minus r into root over 1 plus m square am i right whether you remembered or not this tangency conditions are very important so x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 or plus you can take plus so this is the equation of ellipse the tangency condition ellipse any tangent tangent at any point yeah so what is the condition that c is equal to same c is equal to a square m square yes student anyone plus b square or minus b square yes so this is the hyperbola equation then what is the tangency condition when we can say that y is equal to mx plus c is a tangent to the hyperbola or ellipse here here plus b square here c is equal to a square m square minus b square that's it these are the tangency condition for parabola hyperbola ellipse and circle okay you must be remember that okay students must be remember yeah these are the conditions okay so this is the equation of tangent this is the equation of tangent for the second degree equation so these are the tangency condition so y is equal to mx plus c is said to be tangent to the uh, given curve these are the condition everyone must be remember these four condition so many times they asked a question in je also regarding to this tangency condition okay this is very very important right so already we discussed in ncrt the formula for length of the tangent length of the normal length of the subtangent length of the subnormal okay already i have derived those formulas because when you see here first the questions which is related to which is related to what first uh, slope of the tangent and normal concept and then next uh, equation of the tangent and normal next uh, length of the tangent and normal subtangent okay so these are the and angle between the curve angle between the curve means since we know that the formula okay so uh, any two curves are there what is the angle between two curves this is first curve this is the second one i want to find this angle we cannot find directly so at that thing, a common point, you have to draw the tangent. So this tangent having slope m1, you can draw this another tangent, the slope is m2. Then the tan theta is given by that we know that m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. That's it. Okay. This is the formula for angle between two curves. You have to remember. And remember that the length of the tangent, normal, subtangent, subnormal. Okay, already I derived. Equation of tangent, we know that equation of normal, we know. Okay. Clear. This is the concept. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, one by slope of the tangent and normal. Slope of the tangent and normal. First step. Subtopic. Normal look at here the slope of the tangent is dy by dx when they given the equation of curve y is equal to f of x the slope of the tangent is dy by dx slope of the normal is minus 1 by dy by dx clear clear streets okay now 
let us do the problems the problems are very easy uh, uh, look at here first question number 1 if the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x cube at a point or it is equal to the ordinate ordinate of the point then the point is is it uh, difficult no it is not at all difficult okay see what they are asking here the first question the first question here take any curve take any curve here like uh, this is the curve at any point if you draw the tangent okay the point i am taking as uh, x comma y so uh, this is a tangent tangent having slope that is dy by dx here dy by dx clearly equal to the ordinate ordinate what is the ordinate here y here abscissa is x ordinate is y so the slope of the tangent is equal to the ordinate ordinate okay then let's see here what is the equation of curve y is equal to x cube with alpha of y is equal to x cube with alpha of y is equal to x cube find dy by dx find dy by dx okay so when i find the dy by dx what is dy by dx twins dy by dx is yes yes 3 3x 3x square so what is dy by dx according to the given question dy by dx is equal to ordinate so means y is equal to 3x square let us take uh, the given curve y is equal to x cube as y is equal to x cube with the given equation of the curve let us take this is 1 this is 2 you are going to get the point or else or else very simple option verification which of the following point will satisfy the both the equations yes y is equal to x cube for example if you see directly y is equal to x cube y is uh, y is is 3 is equal to 27 cube no so is 27 is equal to 3 cube yes satisfied not satisfied fourth option 1 is equal to 1 cube satisfying when you see the only given curve directly here two options are satisfying for that what shall we do we have to check the equation 2 also equation 2 is satisfied by ordinate means sorry what ordinate uh, means ordinate means y coordinate here the point is always we can take as x comma y x is called abscissa yes or no and y is called ordinate okay thank you the name of abscissa is x coordinate okay right so this slope i equated to abscissa that is y y is equal to so which of the option is satisfying this equation to amma equation 2 is satisfied by 2 second option right second equation second question so if the slope of the tangent to the curve like uh, xy plus ax plus by is equal to 0 at the point 1 comma y on it is 2 okay then the value of a and b it is simple question see here slope already given dy by dx is equal to 2 is given at what at what point at 1 comma y that's all at 1 comma point already given so a given equation is xy plus ax plus by is equal to 0 and the point they given 1 comma 1 and the slope they given 2 so slope they given means dy by dx at 1 comma 1 they given as 2 try to understand the question first the slope of the tangent to this curve at this point is be given as 
then what are the values of a and b simple find dy by dx means differentiate this when i differentiate here x into y derivative dy by dx u will rule u will rule x into dy by dx plus a into 1 plus b into dy by dx sorry x u v dash plus u dash v 1 into y okay u will rule here so it is equal to 0 now dy by dx you can take it common x plus b into dy by dx is uh, equal to minus of a plus y take plus a plus y right side so dy by dx is clearly equal to minus of a plus y by x plus b okay fine this is clearly they have given us two in the question slope they given clearly two okay fine students and this dy by dx also you can find at where at 1 comma 1 substitute first at 1 comma 1 at 1 comma 1 so here uh, minus of a plus 1 by 1 plus b is equal to 2 okay students this is the condition we got for what value of a comma b option verification would be okay. for what value of a comma b this equation is satisfies a plus 1 by b plus 1 is equal to the a plus 1 by b plus 1 is equal to minus 2 yes which option is satisfied satisfies this condition fastly yes comma minus 2 yes what 1 comma minus 2 second option yes, sir. okay yeah fine so a value is 1 b value is minus 2 look at here minus 2 1 plus 1 2 by minus 1 is equal to minus 2 absolutely right so uh, <clears throat> second question is right now third one third one is what shall we do student here third one the point on the hyperbola y is equal to x minus 1 by x plus 1 at which the tangent are parallel to this. Okay, so very simple. Differentiate the given curve. Given curve will get dy by dx here. So this dy by dx is equating to what is the slope of this curve on a given curve? It is in the form of it is in the form of y is equal to y is equal to mx plus c so what is m value m value is 2 2 right this dy by dx is equating to 2 that's all y is given find dy by dx with help of u by v rule this is u this is v and equating to 2 okay equating to 2 means we will get an equation so just option verification which of the following points are satisfied that can right streets right like that you have we have to check it right then next this you can do it that is very very easy question the point of intersection of the tangent are drawn to the curve at the points where it is met by the curve is given by Okay, ma, see strings here. Which of the following options are satisfying the both? Because when we solve these two equations, we are going to get a common point. For example, this equation of the curve like this, another curve is like this. We get a point. What is the common point here? What is which of the following point is satisfy the both the equations? Yes. Which of the following options? Yes. One comma minus sir. One comma. One comma one. One comma one. It's a one. When we put here one comma one, no. Substitute one comma one in first equation. One is equal to zero. We'll get. Is that right? Second also one is equal to zero. We'll get. One should not be equal to zero. Students, 
Here actually the procedure is what we have to solve these two equation will get the point. Sir, option After three. That, is yes, option three. It's a no need to find at all any a slope here. Just verify the option. This option alone will satisfy both the equation because this curve can met by this curve at certain point. That point they are asking. So third option is right. Next. So fifth question. In fifth question, what shall we do here, students? If the curve, if the curve passes through the point one comma two, and the line y is equal to x touches it at the origin, touches it at the origin, then the values of p comma q comma r. So this is a logic question here. Simple C student. For example, uh, I'm I'm going to take x-axis, y-axis, okay, and uh, y is equal to this is the line, y is equal to x. This is the line. So I'm going to draw the graph of the curve. This is a this is a quadratic. So this is a quadratic equation, okay, and uh, we are going to get like this. Let us assume like that. Let us. I am assuming that the graph of the curve like this. It may not be. Uh, I can't say it is particular. We get like this because you know, uh, here we don't know p comma q values. Okay, p is positive. Is it? It is open upwards. If it, p is negative, you know, it is open downwards, depending on the coefficient of x square here. Okay, fine. Let us assume like this. The tangent y is equal to x is a tangent. It is touches at the origin. Nothing but see here. The given curve is clearly passes through the point one comma two, and also it is passes through the point zero comma zero also. Zero comma zero also. Okay, all of you see here. Substitute here zero comma zero. Y is equal to zero and x is equal to zero. What is the R value, Mama? Yes. yes. R value is R value is zero. Right, right. So that either the first option, second option, third option is right. Fourth option R is equal to three is given. It is wrong. Then how can we check this uh, P and Q values? Yes. Anyone? Right, simple. Substitute so this point. The curve is passing through the point one comma two also. Whenever it is passing through one comma two, so y is equal to two. We are going to get two is equal to e p into one square is p q into one is q. Our value already we got as zero. So p plus q is equal to Two. For which of the following option will get p plus q is equal to two? Anyone? Option two. Option two is absolutely right. Yes or no? R value we found by R which is passing through the origin. We get R value zero. So with help of what? Is the slope of y is equal to x one? Yes, obviously. Then, uh, like, couldn't we differentiate the first equation and then equate it to one? Equating both. So that is the method too, but that is some uh, like take some time because you know, in that case also we'll do this. From this we can find dy by dx. So after finding dy by dx, we are getting it to two p x plus q and. Uh, it is clearly passing through one comma two. Okay, substitute in place of x one in place of y two, and this is clearly equating to one. Equating to one because the slope of the y is equal to x. It is in the form of y is equal to m x. M value is one. That is method two. Instead of that, you can do in simple way. Clear, Kishor? Yes. Okay, whatever the easiest method, you can go to that. Also, and the second method, we only 
uh, substitute one, right? Because there's only the x in the equation. Sorry. Oh, I erased that. Can I do again? Uh, you can try. You'll get. You can try. You can. You'll get. Otherwise, I can explain. Okay, sir. Okay. Let us go for uh, question number six. See here, uh, the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point two comma minus one on it is. See here, uh, just they are asking dy by dx. Is what? At the point two comma minus one. So in this case, what shall we do here? Uh, can you tell me what are the x and y values? X is t square plus three t minus eight. Y is equal to what is the y? 2t square minus 2t. Right. Minus 5. Students, uh, so in this question especially, so what shall we do here? First, we have to find the t value. How can we find the t value? Amo? Yes. How can we find the t value? Point x y already given. Substitute here. We'll get two equations. Solve both the equations. Okay. So clearly, this is passing through the point two comma minus one. X is equal to two. Two is equal to t square. Plus 3t minus 8. Uh, y value is minus 1. Minus 1 is equal to 2t square minus 2t minus 5. So this is a quadratic equation we are going to get. So plus 3t minus 6 is equal to 0. Yet 2t square minus 2t minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, students. So what is the common point? Solve that it is a quadratic equation, you know. So, what is the t value? What is the value of t? It, it satisfies the both the equations. Yes. When you get t value, you know, so this you have to differentiate. When I differentiate here with respect to t dx by dt, we are going to get 2t plus 3. And here we get dy by dt. We are going to get 40 minus 2. So after that, dy by dx is given by dy by dt by sir, dx. Yeah. Sir, it is minus 4 now, sir. Sorry? Sir, y is equal to 2t minus 2t square minus 2t minus 2. Solving, sir. Okay, uh, 2t square minus 2t minus 6. Uh, when you solve that, what is the t value you got? Sir, no, sir, it won't okay. come minus 6. Okay. okay, right, right. Understood, understood. This is also can be written as t square minus t minus 2 is equal to 0. Yes, find all of your t value. t value. Yes, twins. From this equation, what is what are the t values we are going to get? So here we get it can be written as minus two factors uh, to get minus t, one minus two. Am I right? So t is equal to either minus one or plus two. Am I right, students? Am I right? So in these two values, any one of the values satisfy this uh, condition. Uh, I mean, second first equation. So what is the equation? Is it satisfying any equation here? Okay. No. Right? 
So here this is uh, t square plus 3t minus 8. Uh, the point will be 2 comma minus 1 fine. If it is plus 1 it is okay. Uh, 2t square minus 2t minus 5. Right. So what are the three t values from first one? So we should get a common value, common value of t. Then only we'll find dy by dx, dy by dt and dx by dt at uh, that common value of t. Then uh, differentiate both. Here yeah, dy by dt will get uh, uh, 2t square is 4t minus 2 all divided by yeah, 2t plus 3. So I differentiated this one. So I differentiated this one. So after differentiating, we have to substitute the t value. Is there we getting any common value of t? Uh, equations are correct only. Excel I have taken correct values. Hey students, we have done absolutely right only. So first find the t value with alpha of the given point 2 comma minus 1. Okay. After finding t value, find dy by dx with alpha of dy by dt and dx by dt. Okay. After that, at this substitute t value, that common t value, we'll get the slope directly. And that is the processor. Okay, ma'am. Right. Let's see once again. We'll see this question number six and question number seven also. Like the point on the curve at which the tangent perpendicular to the line. Perpendicular means you can find uh, the dy by dx here. Same like NCRT question. It is like NCRT question with help of this. First, to find dy by dx. After that, which is perpendicular to this. The slope you can find. Then take minus one by m. Both you can equate. Okay, students, after the break. Uh, 